The 1-0 on the way. That ball is driven up the middle and off the glove. Run will score, and Butler will take an early lead on a tough chance as that ball ricocheted off the glove of Al Molina. Here's the 2-2. Off speed, and this one lifted out into left field. This will have a chance to get out, and it will. Home run for Seton Hall, and we're tied at one. It's the deepest part of the park right out there, about the 395 sign. And a big fly there for Al Molina. As he comes up with his fourth of the season. Runner in first, and Gargano slaps this one to the gap out in left center field. On to make the play. Did they get it? They did. They'll call the out on a fantastic defensive effort in left field. Cristiano Del Castillo. Are you kidding me? Breaking ball swung on and missed it. A big strikeout for Ryan Pepio as Seton Hall strands runners at second and third. And we move to the top of the foot. Three and two to see something to hit. Breaking ball and a strikeout for Pepio to retire the side. Felitti sets and fires. Strikeout to end the inning. So the Bulldogs go down. We remain tied as Andrew Politti comes on for some solid relief work for the Pirates. We move to the bottom of the eighth. All even here at Prescott. Breaking ball taken for strike three. That will end the inning. Politti pitches a beauty of a top of the tenth, and Seton Hall coming to bat in the bottom of the tenth. All tied at one here at the Big East Championship. on a single. Back in the seventh inning. Rips this one through the hole. And Butler has a leadoff single from James Gargano, the number nine hitter. And now Zach Jarose comes up to for Hartnagel. 23 RBI on the season. Ball is slapped to third. That'll get through. Gargano around the score. Throw will be well behind, and Butler has broken through in the top of the 13th. Go. Struck out. That'll end the ball game. Butler outlasts Seton Hall.